It's madness, I tell you. March Madness! And we're here to provide you with the ultimate, definitive, ultimative guide to this year's NCAA men's hoop action. So fill out your bracket, get on your jacket, get comfy and crack it. Battlestar says frack it, and tell Buddy Hackett it's burly tourney time. Let's open by showing some love to the oft-overlooked smaller schools who get a shot on the national stage. Albeit briefly is usually the experience double-digit soul-crushing opening round defeats, but why not take a moment to acknowledge some of their worthy accomplishments? Did you know that Stephen F. Austin is the only school in America where you can pursue degrees in human bionic reconstruction and professional wrestling? I just whipped your ass! How about Siena College? Their athletic teams, the Mist, were recently voted most refreshing in America. And don't forget Morgan State. This upstart university has been fighting a real uphill battle, as the people of the state's capital, Portland, were recently ranked the most depressed in America, according to Business Week magazine. Let's go Bears! Going to tourney games is fun, but the real juice for fans is wagering on the brackets. Here's a little known fact. The FBI estimates that $2.5 billion is spent annually on office pools during the tourney. And that's just at AIG. <laughs> Now, there can be only one winner of your pool. So chances are, your brackets are gonna get busted. And nothing's funnier than the excuses people make when what's commonly referred to as premature ebracketulation occurs. Like, I lost my virginity to a Robert Morris, so... My mom went to Radford. So I always support any school associated with Harvard, you know, and what's that? Oh, that's Radcliffe. Oh, <laughs> well, f me. 16's my lucky number. Think about how awesome Cleveland is. Now imagine a whole state that awesome. Tell me, how do you not pick Cleveland State? <laughs> Stupid. At work, there's also a little something called brack etiquette, which means that when your brackets are on fire, you act more like this guy. Gosh, I can't believe I've picked every winner all the way to the Elite Eight. <laughs> Beginner's luck, huh? <laughs> and less like this guy. Sup, nerds? What? You need something to suck on? Well, how about my perfect brackets? Yeah! But enough about brackets and the little schools that could, but won't. What about the big fellas? The tourney players? How about Memphis, who came so close last year, but whose fans still recoil in horror at the mere mention of one name? Watch this. Say, pal, you're a fan of Memphis, right? Oh, you betcha. Chalmers. <laughs> <laughs> So, after a million and one games, we get to the coveted, super hyped, and usually fantastic Final Four. And if there ever were an American city that represents all the awesome that the Final Four is about, then it would be this year's host, Detroit. So, Detroit is where they're sending all the winners? Take him to Detroit. No! No, not Detroit! No! No, please! Anything with that! No! And when all's been said and done in the 63 tourney games played, who will be the last team standing? Well, I got an F at bracketology. But my money's on Louisville. Why? Because their roster's stacked? Because they won the Big East and they're hitting stride at the right time? Because their coach is the number one seed in my all D-bag tourney? No, because Louisville is such a friendly place. It's amazing. Have you ever been there? Speaking of winners, we're all out of time. Now players, remember, no tweets at the half. And for us viewers, well, let's hope for as many hot highlights as possible from a certain worldwide leader who happens to employ a scale, a sports center anchor I'd like to Facebook. Huh, I wonder if she'll accept my friend request. For the BS Show, this is Nick Stevens. Happy tournament, everyone, and please enjoy your closing. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the CB4 cast. Thank you, sir. All right, yesterday we had a huge storm spinning across the city. That was yesterday. The Burley Sports Show is brought to you by Heavy and CBSSports.com.